You know, it's funny how when you read articles and they quote people as saying that the population is growing, we're going to have such overcrowding, and yes, of course, they push climate change, and it's, well, because we have too many humans on the planet. California, how many times have I read articles about California's population? It's just growing and growing and growing, and yet there's a lot of people in California moving out of California. In fact, they are uh, going to Idaho, Texas, Arizona. Uh, they're growing those populations. But California's population growth is the slowest in recorded history. This was posted on the LA Times, the Los Angeles Times, May 1, 2019. And then I read and I've read into videos those officials or those experts are those who have been interviewed and then quoted as saying California's population, it's just growing and it's unsustainable and it's causing all of the fires and it's causing all of the floods and you are being lied to, lied to, lied to. U.S. births lowest in three decades despite Improving economy, wow, this was posted three days ago. Re record lows for women in their teens and 20s, a government report shows, leading to the fewest babies in 32 years. Fertility rate of 1.7 births per U.S. woman also fell 2%, meaning the current generation isn't making enough babies to replace itself. Huh. And they're, well, I'm just very confused because the economy is improving. It's not. You're confused because you don't understand that we lie repeatedly about the economy. All right. Well, they do understand. This is AP. All right. You know, even the CDC, U.S. birth rates are down. Death rates are up. What does that mean? Population going down. It's going down, folks. We found an alarming decline from 1973 to 2011. Okay. We do have a fertility crisis. And we know that that fertility crisis is coming from the frequencies, coming from the pesticides, coming from how toxic our environment is. It's not just women deciding to not have babies. They can't. Oh, men, your sperm. Yeah, they did a hit job on your sperm. Pesticides in produce linked with reduced fertility in women. And this is coming from Harvard. Yes. Eating fruits and vegetables with high amounts of pesticide residue, such as strawberries, spinach, peppers, grapes, may reduce women's chances of conceiving and bearing children. Well, their depopulation via chemicals has been a success. Asthma patient became suicidal after taking steroid medication. Be careful with your, with your asthma medications. Uh, they, they have a lot of side effects, brittle bones, cataracts, depression, diabetes, difficulty sleeping, eye changes, cataracts, glaucoma, fluid retention, high blood pressure, increased appetite, increased susceptibility to infection, mood or behavioral changes, a negative effect on growth or development, Osteoporosis, suicidal tendencies and thoughts, unintentional weight gain, and upset stomach. So a lot of people have asthma, and a lot of people are uh, taking that asthma medication. So just thought I would share this with you because, well, it seems that the FDA is allowing every medication put it on the market we all, we're going to approve as safe for individuals.
and every medication is loaded with side effects. Tylenol killing your soul. Studies confirm painkiller reduces em empathy. Mm. Wow. All right, well, I'm not going to read everything, but if you're interested, you can read this article and find out how it all works, you know, uh, Tylenol affecting neurotransmitters in your brain, and yada, yada, yada. It is a social analgesic, analgesic, yeah, killing your ability to feel empathy for others, altering your brain, Tylenol. This is actually, um, well, <laughs> not surprising. But considering the explosion of insomnia, yes, all condition syndromes, diseases, exponentially increasing, sleeping pills linked to increased risk of dementia, yeah. So the frequencies, you know, you use that cell phone, use it in your home, etc saturated with Wi-Fi, the cell towers, the Gwen towers, all of the devices, the TVs, hell, your appliances in your kitchen, all of it emitting dangerous frequencies that deplete the melatonin that is necessary for sleep. I post a lot of videos on this, post a lot of videos on the studies that have shown that electromagnetic frequencies reduce melatonin. Well, that is uh, necessary for that deep sleep. That deep sleep, REM, rapid eye movement, you know, that deep sleep that the body so desperately needs to feel rejuvenated that deep sleep that the body so it's so um, so necessary for healing one's body. Most people are deprived of that now. But yeah, so a lot of people now are getting prescriptions for sleep medication or buying over-the-counter medications. Well, it can aggravate brain degeneration that leads to dementia. Not good. Short attention span, poor physical function of working memory. Oh boy. All things toxic. So there are ways in which you can help yourself to sleep better. Though, because of the frequencies, you know, it's very hard to combat this. Um, you can drink herbal tea, meditating, performing yoga sessions, engaging in a relaxing routine before hitting the hay or getting away uh, for at least an hour from these um, screens, computer screens, cell phones. Um, certainly not leaving your cell phone, cell phone under your pillow. Wow, a lot of people actually sleep with their cell phones or they have it right next to their bedside, uh, on their bedside table. They use them as alarms to wake up. Well, it's emitting frequencies that deplete your melatonin, that get in there to give you a really horrible night's sleep. Uh, let's see, 97% of tested mac and cheese products found to contain chemicals used in plastics and rubber coatings adhesives, sealants, and printing ink. Wow! Um, the, uh, it's the phthalates. Phthalates, which happen to be in a lot of products. Oh, why can't I get that? I can't. But phthalates are everywhere. They can be found in plastic food containers, coatings, printing inks, household products, packaged foods, personal care products, makeup, phthalates act as binding agents and make plastic softer and more flexible. 
maybe it's because these uh, mac and cheese products, they're using plastic instead of noodles. And they include phthalates to make that plastic soft. I don't know. It was just something I thought of. But new studies on the dangerous impacts of phthalates on our health seem to come out every week, given their hormone or endocrine disrupting effects. Phthalate exposure has been linked to a host of health conditions, serious public health concern. Chemicals have been linked to diabetes, heart disease, osteoporosis. Furthermore, phthalates can affect a child's brain and interfere with the sexual development, causing genital birth defects, lower testosterone production in young boys, breast development in girls as early as age of two. Twelve billion pounds of these chemicals were produced by the global chemistry industry. Though phthalates are not intentionally added to food, they can migrate into food products during processing, packaging, preparation. Well, Food and Drug Administration still allows phthalates, 27 other phthalates, and DEHP. Oh boy. I'm sorry guys, but you know what? Literally everything is toxic today. So toxic chemicals found in nearly every cheese product type tested. And it's a first ever report, so you can click on the link and read more if you're interested. How do we get away from all of this? I don't know. FDA admits most sunscreens are probably unsafe. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration recently proposed new regulations to make sure sunscreens are safe and effective. What? Recently proposed? How long? How long have sunscreens been on the market? And how long have we heard, lather up on your sunscreens? Well, they are toxic. And it's funny because studies have proven that they are quite toxic, not safe, and not effective. But the FDA is just finding that out. The FDA admits it does not have enough scientific data to draw any conclusions about the safety of 12 of the 16 active sunscreen, sunscreen ingredients on its list. Two of the 16 ingredients, uh, PAVA and trolamines, uh, silk, oh, wow, doesn't matter because you can read it. They're deemed unsafe. There's an awful lot of chemicals and sunscreens that are unsafe. How about oxybenzone? FDA claims to be unsure about oxybenzone. Found in an estimated 70% of sunscreens. This despite studies showing this chemical acts as an endocrine disruptor and has been linked to reduced sperm count in men and endio, uh, endometriosis in women. Huh. And the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, you know, that great CDC, shows 96% of the U.S. population has oxybenzone in their bodies. Wow. So you put the sunscreen on your body, you go into a lake, you go into a river, you go into an ocean, and it's lethal to certain sea creatures. So you can read more about the endocrine disrupting effects of sunscreen. Yeah, and lo and behold, a lot of chemicals that are in sunscreens are also in makeup and moisturizer and lip balms with sunscreen protection. Um, these results are of concern and might explain in part why unexplained infertility is so prevalent but we've got a population explosion we're gonna get to 9 billion we're gonna get to 11 billion people on the planet oh my god it's gonna collapse in 12 years no 
a whole lot of people have already died and we've got a lot of people dying and well that's just going to increase considering how toxic our environment has become. Well, what else do I have? Diapers and menstrual pads laced with toxic chemicals. You can read this article. Um, phthalates, oh wow. The presence of endocrine disrupting chemicals in most brands is a major hazard. Hazard. So, uh, if you are using menstrual pads, diapers, for your children, infants, you might want to click on the link below and read up. FDA approved toxic meat treatment that you need to be aware of before selecting meat from the grocery store. Wow. Huh. Meat gone bad can be made to look good. Oh, yes, your government loves you. Toxic practice makes seriously decayed meat look fresh for weeks and is banned in many countries, including the European Union and Japan, but uh uh uh, United States, it's exceptional. 70% of beef and chicken in the United States and Canada is treated with poisonous carbon monoxide gas, and the FDA allows it despite the known public health risks. So, when you're buying meat in your supermarket and it looks like this, you cannot know. You cannot know if it is fresh. And using air fresheners inside your house is equivalent to smoking 20 cigarettes per day. Glade. Not just Glade, all of them. Yep. Using air fresheners is like smoking. Air fresheners cause lung cancer. Wow. And air sprays contain the same ingredients as cigarettes. Now, do you think your government wants you sick? Come on. Just consider it. No agency is there to protect you. In fact, these agencies are there to kill you. All links are below.